I'm sure you're aware. But if we become too serious, the area affected by magicules will expand. We need to be extremely cautious, all right. You're the one who made a mistake before, so please be careful. That's correct. I can't offer any help this time, so please avoid any impulsive actions. Ramiris expressed her concern about us being on our own, but it was an indescribable feeling. But honestly, I couldn't pretend to have it all figured out either. It was somewhat amusing to me that I had no concrete plan at this point, but it couldn't be helped. Now was the time to be resolute. After all, I had encountered similar situations many times before. So, Guy and I will be the ones to confront Milam. I'd like the rest of you to defend the base and respond to requests for assistance from other nations. Rimuru-sama, even if it's just me accompanying, denied. I promptly turned down Diablo's suggestion. While I had confidence in Diablo's ability to handle our battle, I declined because I wanted him to stay behind in case of unforeseen circumstances. It seems that reviving Iverage isn't Felway's only objective. I believe Dagrul's attack on Luminas is also intended to divert our attention. The only ones who can manage things if I'm incapacitated are you, Benimaru, and Zijin. What about me? Veldora, you're truly our last line of defense. Veldora seemed slightly miffed at not being addressed by name but he nodded after hearing my explanation. I had said it many times, but as long as Veldora remained safe, I could be revived. I wasn't eager to test that theory, but having insurance made a significant difference. Overcoming my own stubborn and biased opinions, I decided to head into battle immediately. The more I deliberated, the less decisive I'd become, so I entrusted the rest to Veldora. I'm counting on you, Veldora. Mm, um, leave it to me. Seeing Veldora nodding with determination gave me confidence. Ramiris jumped towards me. Rimuru, please save Milam. Now, leave it to me. To reassure the worried Ramiris, I smiled and promised to bring Milam back to her senses. Half measures wouldn't work against the strongest demon lord, Milam, so I hoped my words would reach her. If she could control her anger, she would naturally regain her senses. There was actually a fair bit of luck riding on all of this. Guy holding Velzard at bay was a prerequisite. Then, we needed to prepare for a prolonged battle while making adjustments to minimize the damage to the world. It was an unprecedented act of recklessness. Facing a rampaging Milam while holding back was essentially a suicidal mission. I assured Diablo it was impossible, but even I wasn't entirely sure of myself. However, there was no other option. Benimaru, I'm entrusting the rest to you. Rest assured, I was grateful that Benimaru was here. We needed to be ready for requests from other nations, especially Lubelius, which was in a state of war. The situation was ever-changing, and we had to respond flexibly while strategically deploying our remaining forces. Only Benimaru could handle such complex adjustments. I nodded back at him. Well then, just wait for us, Milam. Don't go on a rampage and cause more destruction. We needed to awaken Milam before it was too late. With everyone's anxious eyes on us and high expectations, Guy and I left the scene. After Rimuru and Guy left, a heavy atmosphere settled in the conference room. This is the first time I've felt so helpless. Indeed, I was told I had an important role in analyzing the war situation and taking command, but I would have gladly thrown that away to accompany Rimuru-sama. I never intended to rely on him, but it seems I was still being coddled by Rimuru-sama. Yes, if that's what Rimuru-sama wishes, then we must comply, even if it's frustrating that we can't trust ourselves to hold back. That's not the only reason. Feldway, Jahil, and Demon Lord Dagrul. There are many enemies to be cautious of, and it's hard to say our forces are sufficient. That's why he decided it would be better for you to help us. Complaining won't change anything. All we can do is fulfill our assigned tasks with dedication. Zijin is right. Each of you, stay sharp and be prepared for the mission. Meanwhile, the control room regained its usual atmosphere, but the moment was fleeting as Sawe entered. So, you're back, Sawe. Yes, where is Rimuru-sama? A serious situation has arisen, and he's on his way to handle it. Tisk, having to rely on him again. So, you seem in a hurry. Is something amiss? I've been investigating the movements of Dagrul's people under Rimuru-sama's orders. With that introduction, Sawe proceeded to provide a detailed report of his findings. He discovered that Dagrul's people hadn't been affected by Dagrul's change of allegiance, which was a relief. His investigation aimed to uncover the cause behind Dagrul's betrayal. Sawe made his way to the royal palace, which now had only a few soldiers but still operated as usual. The administrators treated Sawe as an envoy from an allied country since they were unaware of Dagrul's change. After gathering information, Sawe pinpointed the cause of the betrayal. 
While it wasn't certain, he decided to return and report for now as he had no other leads. I see. The three brothers, including the sealed one, were once a single titan, an evil god who wreaked havoc as a world destroyer. That's correct. He was reformed after being defeated by Veldanava Sama, and meeting Queen Kasara had a calming effect on him. Even if it's a myth, it can't be dismissed as mere nonsense. There must be some truth to it. Ah, I agree. If that's the case, we need to be cautious about the resurrection of an evil god. By the way, how strong was this evil god? He was incredibly strong. Not as strong as me, but I think he outclassed Master back then. Hmm, of course, Master is stronger now. Ramaris quickly pacified Veldora, who seemed displeased at being told she was stronger. While the veracity of this information remained unclear, everyone understood that the evil god posed a threat on par with a true dragon. Notice. I have compiled the current state of affairs as concisely as possible. Beginning playback. I would like to shout out to my top Patreon followers, Carito, Jason Torres, Edward Bailstream, and Cheesebean, and also for the top commenter of the week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below.